Hello everyone, Matthew here. How are you all today? Hope you're all doing well. And today we thought we might play a DVD game which we haven't done for, I don't know how long, about two years. We haven't done one for two years. So yeah, I thought, you know what? I think it's about time we touch on our brains and just play a DVD game. We're going to play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? The DVD game with Chris Tan, but now he's retired. Now the last time I ever did a DVD game was two years ago. And it's been two years since the last time I did a DVD game, but I'll be busy at college. So yeah, let's switch on our brains. And Blade wants to be. Oh, yeah. And also, I also got this from uh, Anson for free yesterday, I think. You have to see that. Yeah. So yeah. Well, let's get started. Not think Chris Talent will be, uh, be the host, but now he's retired. Jeremy Clarkson's replacing him. Yes, uh, so doors. And here's the intro, hope you all enjoy. Here's Chris Tarrin. Take it away, Chris. Hello and welcome to this special DVD version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Now, thanks to the very clever invention called DVD Extra, you can now play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire in the comfort of your very own living room using nothing but the remote control that came with your DVD player. Now, this is your chance to win a virtual million pounds. And there's the possibility, if you get to the magic one million mark, you could win some great prizes in our prize draw as well. Not virtual prizes, but real-life, touchy-feely, winnable prizes. You could even win the chance to be in the audience when we record the show. But you'll only get that chance if you get to a million. Have fun playing. Who wants to be a millionaire? OK, thank you, Chris. So, as Chris Town says. So, here's the menu. Got play and how to play. So, let's play. But before we do... I want Chris Town to know how to play this. Obviously, this is an old game, and I've just got this yesterday. And because uh, it's an old DVD game, and people might struggle with how to play this game. So, Chris Town, would you explain to them how do we play? Who wants to be a millionaire? So, how do you play? Who wants to be a millionaire on your DVD player? Well, take a look at your remote control. Now, just look at all the buttons on this thing. But don't worry, you don't need most of them. It's actually incredibly simple. All you need is left, right, up, down, and enter. And if for any reason you're getting a bit of a pickle and you want to return to the main menu, then you just press the menu button. Couldn't be simpler. All you have to worry about is getting the answers right. And there is, of course, an added incentive to getting closer to a million. The further up the money ladder you get, the more you see of me. Poor you. Right, let's return to the main menu. Then you just choose play, and you'll be put in the hot seat to answer those 15 questions. Good luck, and enjoy playing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. All right, cheers, Chris. Thank you very much for explaining the rules. So, hope you, you all know that. So, you heard the rules. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Right, now you're in the hot seat. Let's just go over the rules. They're the same as always. You are now just 15 correct answers away from winning a virtual million pounds and the possibility of some fantastic prizes. Now, as always, you can walk away at any time, but if you do get stuck, you have the usual three lifelines. You've got 50-50, you can phone a friend, or of course you can ask the audience. Okay, lots of luck. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Right, number one for £100. Here we go. Right, number one for £100. Here it is. So let's send the copycat. Which city is Constance this come from? Manchester, Newcastle, London, Glasgow. Ooh. Hmm. That will be Glasgow. 
oh dear, you selected the wrong answer. Oh, London. Oh, what a bad start. Well, you come unstuck, I'm afraid, immediately and incredibly, you don't win anything. Thanks, Chris. Cheers for that, mate. Before I do carry on, I just want to tell you that I got this game for a penny. That DVD game for a penny. Don't mind about that. Would you like to it's try again. again for a million pounds? Yes, I do. Of course you would. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Of course I do. Why would I not say no? Okay, here we go. Now this is question number one for one hundred pounds. Here we go. Question one. Which would you not expect to find in the pack? Clubs, spades, diamonds, spit. Is. Hmm, there's clubs? Yeah, it's got to be. What does the spear look like? What does the spear look like? As soon as I get the picture up, I'll show you it, and it's on my phone. So I'm using the tablet just to record. So. I think it's a spears. No jokes, but six minutes. Hit. Well, just so coming up seven minutes. And uh, we got the first question wrong earlier. Um. Surely it's gonna be a spear. Say no. Right, number one for one hundred pounds. Here it is. All right, here we go. Yeah, that turns off. Liverpool Essendon will never walk alone. That's the right answer. You'll never walk alone. No, more than tight shoes. Have a look at this. It's worth two hundred quid. Here it is. Which television company takes the name for the two rivers in the area? Oh, what? I think that's full circle, but... Can I phone a friend, please? On the second question. Okay, let's phone a friend. Now, who do you think might be able to help you get past this one? Okay, who do I want to call? Wayne, Malcolm, or Samantha? Um, 
well, I don't know if anybody's going to be good at rivers. But remember, I do not have to go along with what they say. And if you are choosing to find a friend, remember, you don't have to go along with what they say. Um, I think I'm going to find... Uh, uh, I've got to find Wayne. See if he can help me out. There's no doubt there, pal. It's A. Go for it, mate. A. Right? Cheers, pal. Thanks. It's absolutely good. Cheers, mate. Well Thanks. Thank you, mate. So far, so good. Now, take a look at this for 300 quid. And I've got two lifelines left. I'll use them wisely. Which of these is a type of gators? Blue Ward? Red Compass? Ringdale? Black Forest. That's uh oh. Blue Wood. Oh, I really feel for you there. That's the wrong answer. Black Forest. Oh. Well, I can't believe this, but I'm afraid it's an early exit for you. Unfortunately, you win nothing. Nothing. I shouldn't have that. Come on. You have 15 questions and three lifelines. Lots of luck. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? 11 minutes in and we've went on another. Okay, here we go. Now, this is question time. number one for 100 pounds. What do you enclose if you ask for a say? Money, photograph, envelope, CV. That's an envelope. Well done. You selected the right answer. Maybe. I've heard graphs when you take pictures. Here's question two for 200. What's the question, Chris? In Elvis Presley, Presley songs, what is the end of the lonely street? Nightmare Mile to Hell? Heartbreak Hotel? Crying Cottage? That's Heartbreak Hotel. Spot on, no problem, right answer. 200 pounds. I don't know Elvis Presley. So far, so good. Now take a look at this for 300 quid. Which of these games was known as Halsey Halsey? Bingo, Notley, Scrabble, Snakes and Ladders. Notley. Oh, I really feel... How the hell... Wrong. Um, how the hell is Bingo has Halsey Halsey? Well, Notley has Halsey Halsey. Well, I can't believe this, but I'm afraid this is oh. an early exit for you. Bingo. Unfortunately, you win nothing. Thanks, Chris. Bingo? Who ever want to play bingo? Monopoly has houses. Do they? They do. Housey housey. That's Monopoly. <sighs> bingo. You have 15 questions and three lifelines. Lots of luck. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Huh, let's play. Right, number one for £100. Here it is. What's the first question, Chris? In a traveled Austrian song, who or what won the world to? Anna? Lauren? Walter? Glenda? Uh, that's Edna. Oh dear, you selected the wrong answer. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Well, you've come unstuck, I'm afraid, immediately and incredibly, you don't win anything. Oh. Game over! Fourteen minutes are coming up to now. <sighs> would you like to try again for a million pounds? Yes, I do. Of course you would. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Question number one is worth one hundred pounds. Here it comes. All right, first question: hundred pounds. Who's flying circus? Was a TV comedy Oh, flying circus. I've never seen that. Um, complete Dam and Dog, I'm gonna say. I'll say Bunty Shark. Oh dear, you selected the wrong answer. Oh, Monty Shark. Well, you come unstuck, I'm afraid, immediately and incredibly, you don't win anything. Oh! Game over. Right, 15 questions to win a million. Here we go, let's play! 
Well, one three, I'm a leader now. I know that. Yeah, oh. Now, this is question number one for one hundred pounds. Here's our first question. Which of the following is the lofty pounds? Jurassic? Horus? Ezex? And three, that's Jurassic. Well done, you selected From the film right. Jurassic Park. So, I, yeah, I will see him. I will see Jurassic Park. Um, very soon, Have a look hopefully. at this. It's worth 200 quid. I may need to get the DVDs for it. The man who opened the... Uh, oh. The man who opened a brewery in Dumbledore's in 1759 was after... Ooh. Murphy? Because... Albert? Uh... I think for this one I'm gonna... I think it is... Murphy, but... Hmm. Can I find a friend, please? Okay, let's phone a friend. Now, who do you think might be able to help you get past this one? Who do I want to call? Okay, right. Um, well, there's the one thing for sure. I do not have to go along with what they say. Um, I'm going to choose... Let's phone... Ooh, who do I want to phone? I'll phone William. Good. I will be amazed if the answer isn't D. In fact, I know it's D. Go for it. Yes, William. Thanks. Well done. It's the right answer. There we go. It was D. God, it's, I, it, I might put a friend. So this far, sure. so good. Now take a look at this for three hundred quid. What is the name of the of the, so the people with high? What I hear it. Uh, I know it's not going to be B because it's going to give me the wrong answer. I'm going to say C. Oh, I really feel for you there. That's the wrong answer. I knew it would be B. Why would I? Think well, I can't C? believe this, but I'm afraid it's an early exit for you. Unfortunately, you win nothing. Damn it. Right, let's have another little go. You have 15 questions and three lifelines. Lots of luck. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Right, number one for £100. Here it is. Question number one. Which doctor could speak to an animal? Uh, Dr. Watson. Oh dear, you selected the wrong answer. What an idiot of me. Such an idiot. Well, you come... And stuck on my plate, and unfortunately, you don't win anything. I know that, Chris. Would you like to try again for a million pounds? Yes, of course you would. Let's play. Who wants to be of a course. millionaire? Of course. I want to become a millionaire. Why don't I say no? Question number one is worth one hundred pounds. Here it comes. Right. What is a horse fast pace? Trot. Oh dear, you select. How the is oh, block? Well, you can't... I'm unstuck on a... Uh, and unfortunately, you don't win anything. I know that, Chris. And you want to play for a million yes. pounds? Yes, I thought you might. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? God. Right, number one for 100 pounds. Here it is. All right, question one. 500 pounds. In which code are dot and dash are using the... Frost? One? Come on. Uh, what happens if I pick walk away? Well, it's your choice. You've chosen to walk away without even answering the first question. Incredible. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm happy I walk away with nothing. Whoopsies! What an idiot of me. Would you like to try again <clears throat> for a million pounds? Yes! Of course you would. Let's play. Of course! To be I want to be a millionaire. millionaire. Number one. Right, number one for, for one hundred pounds. Here it is. Right. What is the name of the insulted flag of the sea mouth? Uh, blopper. Oh dear, you selected the wrong. Blopper. Ah. Well, you come unstuck, I'm afraid. You mean you didn't? You don't win anything. I know that, Chris. And you want to play for a million yes. pounds? Yes, I thought you might. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? 
Question number one is worth one hundred pounds. Here it comes. Oh, sorry, it's a bit tired. Queen Elizabeth II's husband is the Duke of where? Duke of Edinburgh. That's the right answer. Good start, hundred pounds. Okay, question number two for two hundred pounds. Let's have a look. What's the two hundred pounds, Chris? With which sport is Sir Stanley Matthews chief associated with? Football? Ice hockey? Water polo? Oh, no, I can't pronounce that one. Um, Stanley Matthews, um... Football. Well done! It's the right answer! That was the right answer, and I hope there's going to be another England match in football. So far, so good. Now take a look at this for 300 quid. I wonder how the Northampton football team will get on. Which of these is one of the national embarrassments of Wales? Rose, Fistic, Sherrock, Link. Um, I like to use a... Hmm. Let me have a think. Um, the one I'm thinking of is Rose. It's Rose, but what do people think? I wonder what the people might think at home if they play who wants to be a millionaire. I think it could be, I think they might say Rose. Question for five hundred pounds. What day of the week was this light by by Boomtown Rats? Tuesdays, Mondays, uh, sorry, Tuesdays, Sunday, Monday, Friday. Right, can't be Monday because I hate Mondays. It can't be Sundays because I hate Sundays. Tuesday or Friday? Um, I have no idea. Can I ask the audience, please, Chris? Okay then audience, time to look at the various possibilities. On your keypads please. All vote, vote now. Now. Let's see what the audience can think of. Ninety-one percent of audience think it's Monday. Five percent think it's Thursday. Three percent think it's it's Sunday. And the one percent who put Tuesday, who won't put Tuesday, raise your hand. No one? Fine. Whatever. It was Friday. It's absolutely Monday. correct. Well done. Yay! It's Monday, and I hate Mondays. You're just one question away from your first milestone for a guaranteed thousand. And Here to start a run. Which of these materials would you find home on? Silver. Copper. Tin, tin bits. Um, I'll have to phone a friend, please, because I think it's silver. Right, time uh, to phone a friend. Now, who do you think will know this answer? I think it's silver, but I'll have to phone a friend just to make sure. So, Wayne, Malcolm, or Samantha. These three people again. Um, right, who do I want to call? Remember, I do not have to go along with what they say. 
I'm gonna find Malcolm. Come on, Malcolm. I can say with the utmost certainty that the answer is A. No question. Cheers, Malcolm. I want to skip back to the time I'm going to talk to Come on. Fantastic! It's the right answer. That should be enough to start a run. That's a thousand pounds in the bag guaranteed, so let's try and double that with the next question. Here it comes for two thousand pounds. I might as well play this because I've got nothing to lose. The lowest point on the Earth's surface is on the shoreline of which sea? Mediterranean Sea, South China Sea, Dead Sea, Caspian Sea. Hmm. Right, what do I think? Could it be Dead Sea? But I'm not really content sure if it could be. Um, I think it's Dead Sea, but I want to go 50-50, just to make sure. Okay, computer, please take away two wrong answers. Leave the correct answer and one remaining wrong answer. Alright, what is going to be? Okay, so that's covered with A and D. Oh, sorry, A and B, sorry. Um, so it's Dead Sea or Capsid Sea. Um, I think it's Dead Sea, but... You know, we can might as well, we might as well play this one because we've got nothing to lose. Um, it's got to be Dead Sea, but if I'm wrong, we don't lose anything. Well, I don't lose anything. If I'm wrong, I lose nothing. I've got the thousand pounds, so I might as well play this. I've got nothing to lose, so I'm going to try Dead Sea. It's the right answer. I'm probably with Dead Sea. Right, question number seven. Now have a look at this for £4,000. I've got no life on this left, so I'm on my own. Which of these is not a sword used in tournament fencing? Epe, cutlass, sabre, foil. I think it's foil. Foil. If I'm wrong, I'll lose a thousand. Foil. Oh, oh cutlass! Cutlass! Well, you had 2,000, you lose 1,000, but you still walk away with 1,000 pounds. Oh well, 1,000 pounds. Not bad. I'll start a run from that. Yep, 27 minutes in, and we've got about 1,000 pounds in the bank. So, I think I'll call it a die on that. So, one game's on in total, 1,000 pounds. Not that bad. I'm hoping a lot more better. Alright then guys, I'm going to leave it here for now. Um, because it's coming up to 27 minutes and I want to get this video uploaded. So, yeah. If you do want to see more of Want to Be a Millionaire, let me know in the comment section. And, if you do want me to do the second edition, let me know in the comments as well. But, other than that, 28 minutes. So, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks guys for watching this video. One game is a total of £1,000. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!